Hey everybody, welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. I'm Sarah and I have a bit of a mirror problem. The problem is that dressers arrive with mirrors and leave without mirrors and I get stuck with mirrors. And I just feel bad throwing them away. So today I'm tackling my mirror stash. I'm gonna get through as many as I possibly can and we'll see if we can turn these dirty and dated mirrors into something that I can sell and make some money off of because right now all they're doing is gathering dust. So come on, let's get flipping. So the first step of any project is to get it properly cleaned and while most of the time I use some rags and soapy water this time I just took a hose to these mirrors because they had been sitting in my garage for so long that there were many many layers of dust and dirt in icky grime all over them. The first mirror I'm going to be tackling here is this large white mirror and I had already started it once upon a time as you can see. I had started putting different molds on it and creating just some interest on top when I, I don't know, I guess I got bored with it and shoved it back in the back of my shop and was never going to see it again had I not decided to do all my mirrors at once. So I'm just taking some clay and my molds from Redesigned by Prima and I'm just adding a whole bunch of florals and leaves and I'm going to make it more of a solid pattern. I also have that um, kind of beaded mold and that's actually an old cake mold so you can use almost anything. The clay I have is just the air dry clay you can buy at Hobby Lobby and I'm gluing it on with some tight bond too. After allowing my molds to dry overnight, I am coming back through with some white paint to give everything a solid white base and then I will be adding waxes and gold gilding wax on top of this, but everything goes white. As you can see, I have some beautiful um, Mr. Incredible playing cards from the dollar store and they're in the children's section because those are the jumbo size cards and they cover a lot more territory. However, please learn from my mistake and remove them before your paint dries because once the paint dries, it's a lot harder to take them out. Next up, I'm going to be waxing this whole mirror with clear wax and that just gives it a good base. I am going to be coming in next with my black wax and this is because I've never used black wax before. It was given to me for my birthday and I was so anxious to try it out and I figured, hey, why not? So would I do this again for a mirror like this? Probably not, but a mirror is a perfect kind of project to try new products out that you haven't used before. After putting the black wax on, I wiped a lot of it back and it gave it some nice depth. And then I went on over with my gold gilding wax. This is just some rub and buff and I believe the color is antique gold. I dusted it all over the florals and then along the edge there. Moving right along, I have some Sandbar and Fluff by Dixie Belle that I have left over from my challenge piece from many months ago, the $100 challenge collaboration, and I'm just going to be using it to paint the main part of the mirror and then that raised part in the center, I'm going to be giving the fluff and blending them together just to give it a little bit of dimension and interest. I'd also thought of doing some decoupage on that raised part in the center and giving it kind of more of a country flair, like painting it white with a floral decoupage in the middle, but I didn't have any of the materials for that, so I just, I just went with what I had on hand. I didn't really spend any extra money on these pieces, I just wanted to use whatever I had in my workshop. Each piece is getting a wax top coat. I don't like pollying around mirrors. Wax is much easier to wipe off of the glass. Mm -hmm. 
when you do get paint on wax, you really don't have to worry about it. A little bit of cleaning and a razor blade will scrape it right off. And in this case, that worked better for me than the Mr. Incredible cards because I got one of those stuck and I'm still trying to figure out how to get it out. So yeah, kind of like the razor blade method. Uh, taping is also a good way to keep your paint off your mirror, but <laughs> y'all know by now that I, I really hate taping things. <laughs> This next mirror was screaming for a elegant makeover, but I figured it's really going to be kind of difficult to sell as it's really meant to sit on top of a dresser, but the dresser I got it with didn't go with it at all, so I'm really thinking that it got separated from its original dresser a long time ago. I decided to paint it a light pink and then give the details a little bit of white blending and then over the raised details with my gold. Once again it is the Rub and Buff Gold and I am just going to go over the details with it and I'm going to actually probably go back and do it a few times just to get the look that I am desiring. This last beast of a mirror I was very uninspired for and I just grabbed some old paint that I had mixed up and didn't know what to use it on. I mixed up some leftover teal that I had just a tiny bit in with a little bit of black so it's like this very very dark dark teal that really does read black especially after I put the wax on. So this wicker mirror was really a testing ground for the wicker dresser that I did and I started out by painting it and I hated it and I wiped it back to kind of give it a wash and I hated it and I tried painting the trim and I still hated it. I finally ended up using the spray paint of the same stuff that I used on the wicker dresser in the end. And so yeah, this bit mirror was basically trial and error to make sure I didn't mess up the big dresser. So even though I don't really love how this mirror turned out, it is priceless because the testing that I was able to do on it made me more confident to move into that beautiful wicker dresser that I completed. All right, everyone, there we go. We had six mirrors, only five of them got a makeover. I decided to leave that solid pine one just as it is and try to sell it like that. And if nobody wants it, maybe I'll paint it white. I don't know or just give it away to a friend, but we'll see. I did list most of them the other day and almost all of them have gotten some sort of interest. I listed them ranging from, I think, 25 to $75. So we'll see if we can get them sold before too long. I hope so because they've been hanging around in my shop for far too long. So while it was fun to try to try something a little bit different, a little new, rather than just the boring old dresser after dresser, the mirrors were not exactly my favorite project, so I don't know if I'll be stashing them up to do in a big lot like this again, but like I said, dressers come in with mirrors, and so often the style that I go with doesn't it just doesn't work with a mirror. So I'm left with the mirrors and I have listed them for free or for $5 just to get them out of my shop. But you know, if you have mirrors hanging around, it's a good opportunity to try something new with them. And let me know what you guys do with your mirrors. I am definitely interested to learn more. And while you're letting me know that, how about you let me know which was your favorite mirror makeover and Go ahead, it won't hurt my feelings. Go ahead and tell me which was your least favorite mirror makeover. Mine is probably the uh, that 
teal black one. I, I did never like the mirror to start with and I don't like it now that it's painted, but maybe somebody else would. I did have somebody interested in it, so maybe somebody else does. But that's all for our makeover today. If you're interested to hear about when these mirrors sell, I do post my sold items on Instagram. You can follow us over there at our Furniture Flipping Adventure, same name, and I post on the day that things sell. So if you're interested to see how quickly I get things sold, go ahead and give us a follow over there. As always, all the products I used will be down in the description. There will be Amazon links or descriptions of where you can find them. And I'll see you guys next Saturday for our next video. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Bye.